Okay, hello everybody. I hope you are doing okay despite everything that's going on. It's Halloween today. Um, it's not the normal Halloween. There's probably not much trick or treating going on. There's actually a storm raging outside my studio at the moment. Um, and basically, in the paper today, uh, they're actually talking about there's a potential, there's a, they're considering another nationwide lockdown. Now, this is very much for England because I know if you're in France or Germany or even Belgium, national lockdowns have just been announced. If you're in Wales, then you're reacting to the fact there's this fire break, which I think personally is a very good idea. But that does mean that for a lot of you, you're not going to be going back to school next week. You might have an extra week of holidays or I suppose remote working uh, before you go back into schools. Northern Ireland, uh, I know there's a thing where they've delayed uh, a lot of the um, sort of autumn exams uh, by another couple of weeks, which to be honest, if you're in Northern Ireland and you've had a delay of a couple of weeks, especially for your GCSEs, then actually that's kind of really gonna help you have a bit more time to revise. But I do think this is the right move because there's a rapidly rising rate of infection and therefore that's going to lead to a rapid increase in hospital admissions and ultimately more serious consequences. But like I said in the video I did last month, you can watch my prediction up here, um, I do think schools are going to stay open and that is good for you students because it means that you have some social interaction, you keep learning and that means there's not going to be too many delays or other things for your future. Now. Who knows what's going to happen in the future, but this is my prediction. Exams of some kind will still happen, and mock exams are going to be a lot more important than they have been before. And that means the more time you can spend in schools, rather than just rem remote working at home, the better. So what can you do? Nothing. You can basically just react to the situation. Uh, you know, if schools are shut, it might just be your bubble have to isolate or even a smaller part of that bubble where they've identified the students who might be most at risk. If that happens, then obviously your teacher the setting work and it's really up to you to do as much as you possibly can. Not forgetting, of course, if you want to have any help with your physics, both at GCSE or A-level, I do have websites with all the videos ordered by topic. I suppose the other thing you can do is when you're in schools, just try and be sensible. And this will not only protect you, to stop you getting ill, but also it's going to protect the people in your family, and also it's going to protect your teachers. If you can do stuff like making sure that you're keeping on top of your hand washing, you're keeping on top of distancing where possible, and wearing a mask where possible, ultimately that's going to make your school a safer place, it's going to protect your teachers, and you don't want your teachers being off sick, because if there's a replacement teacher, the lessons aren't going to be as good as if your normal teacher is there teaching you. So do what you can in schools to protect the teachers, because they're all old people anyway, aren't they, compared to you lot, and therefore they're more vulnerable to um, kind of things with COVID. So let's just see what happens. Whatever does happen though, I will be here making videos, making resources for you. Um, if schools do shut, then you know that I'll be doing live streams every week to help you with your learning. And as the year progresses and we get close to the exam season, I'm going to be doing a lot more live streams to be your other or second or third teacher helping you with as much physics as I possibly can. So in the meantime, uh, make sure that you do subscribe to me here on YouTube. It's all completely free to do. You can keep updated if you turn on notifications for all the stuff I'm doing. And have a look over at my A-level website where I've got lots of worked example questions using past papers. And have a look at my GCSE website where I'm now adding lots and lots of worksheets that you can complete in class or at home to really help you understand the subject. And ultimately, that's going to get you the best grade possible, either in your mock exams or your real exams in the future. So stay safe and as much as possible, enjoy Halloween or enjoy the rest of your half term. Thank you.